live from uh, Melia Salinas. Uh, good morning from Lanzarote. A little bit windy today, but the sun is very, very strong and I decided to come on the beach to have an excellent view of, uh, of this uh, amazing, incredible hotel. And because it's morning and maybe you didn't have breakfast, I decided to invite you to have breakfast in bed. Actually, kind of in bed, but for sure a breakfast with a view. Lanzarote is absolutely impressive uh, and at the same time the human history of this place uh, is uh, very very interesting and uh, as I told you many are Salinas it's a li uh, living hotel and uh, since I stepped into Villa Magdalena I realized that uh, I have a piece of history in my garden and today I ask uh, Virginia uh, our guest service manager to tell me a little bit about the windmill of Las Salinas. So the first thing that I saw when I entered the villa was this windmill. It's just decoration or it's something related with the history of the place? Well, actually, uh, this windmill was built end of 19th century. Uh, this hotel has been built on the salt flats quite whole Costa Teguisa were salt flats and then with uh, because there was only the hotel there was nothing else and only the salt flat and this windmill was completely in ruin the council decided to restore it and uh, we uh, we have this result at the moment and this uh, windmill was actually to pump the water of the sea uh, which brought it into the narrow channels of the salt flats and with the condensation you get the salt and this salt, which is still very famous here on Lanzarote, you can find in Hanubia at the moment.
Today was the first day when I forced myself to leave that beautiful place called Melia Salinas and uh, hire a boat uh, traveling uh, from uh, Playa Palanca uh, into the ocean. Now, if you look behind me and look at the waves, you think, oh, actually, it wasn't the right day to choose this trip, but believe me, the sun is lovely, our, our hosts are amazing, and we have an absolutely fabulous day. What is chill out cruise cruises? Oh, uh, chill out cruises is uh, my company. It was created about uh, nine years ago, um, and I I do experience for tourists to come in uh, to the, the nice the hot spots of the coast of Lanzarote. It would be Papagayo here, Lobos, or other places. We have a, this motorboat and we have a sailing yacht, a catch, and with these two boats uh, we organize trips for the small groups. And you have like three type of different, you have one in the morning? Yeah, we, we tailor made uh, our trips, so depending what customers want, uh, we do. If they want uh, a hem party with uh, a stripper and that we do. Uh, we had a, a, a hem parties here and a stripper coming from the beach in a zodiac to the boat and uh, a surprise for most of the girls that were in the boat and you know we we create uh, different uh, parties, parties yeah. for Today you uh, were doing a sunset cruise, is that more special? Well, it's quite special because the colors and the, the scenery is, is a bit different than the real time. Uh, for me, and as well, the wind is slow down uh, and it's quite a twist. Second, uh, the, the places where we come is uh, the best beaches on the island, I think, well, at least for myself. The north is as well very good, but it's quite exposed, a bit wild sometimes. So like here we are always sheltered.
villas here at uh, Melia Salinas are uh, the most impressive uh, type of accommodation of this beautiful hotel. But uh, I was sure that like everything else uh, around uh, this impressive building, a villa has its own story. And I was trying to find somebody to tell me the story behind this magnificent place. First, the villas are very, very impressive, but like everything in this hotel, each place in this hotel has its own story. What's the story of the villa? Well, actually, the villas were built about 20 years ago, but uh, the idea is inspired from uh, Bali. We have a hotel, Media Bali. The first concept of garden villas was built in Media Bali and was actually, uh, well, with this inspiration, we started to build it here by the, the architect Alvaro Sanz, uh, which the local style of Cesar Manrique, which is the volcanic black stone and the gray, the uh, white and gray. And so uh, we, we wanted just to have the private villas with 24 hour service of a hotel, something completely new, another concept in Europe. This was the first one here. But uh, you still kept some elements from the original villas in Bali, the Bali bed, and my yes. nightmare here, the yes. door. Yes, indeed, <laughs> indeed. The door is some, yeah, somewhat special, perhaps uh, when you're arriving, as this is a very narrow and high door. But actually, the idea of it in Bali is just to keep the bad spirit outside. So to start a very nice and comfortable stay once in the villa. You know that the problem is that after having three meals, excellent meals in the hotel after a week, I feel like a bad spirit. I cannot <laughs> sit on the door. So, uh, <laughs> we remain an outsider, yes. Um, I'm sure that as a guest service manager, you get feedback from uh, your guests that they are using the villas. What, are they, what, what is the, their first reaction when they enter the villa? Well, entering in the villa is really entering in just an oasis of peace. And I think that probably a small part of paradise must be here in the garden villa. But don't forget that I'll be again